This video takes a look at the mean value theorem for derivatives. And I specify here because there are mean value theorems uh, that utilize the second derivative. This one only utilizes the first. Uh, some books refer to it as, the, when they talk about the second derivative, they will refer to it as the extended mean value theorem for derivatives. There is also a mean value theorem for integrals as well as for other structures. And so I, I want to specify that this is for derivatives. Uh, and if you've never seen one of my videos before, never had me in class, uh, I love these kinds of questions because they're just very general and forced to think. And so the question is, determine if the mean value theorem for derivatives can be applied. If so, find all values of C that make it true. All right, well, in order to determine whether or not it can be applied, we have to know what the mean value theorem says. And so let's take a look at what it says. Uh, the first thing it starts out with is our conditions. Okay, and so conditions. If this is something that I, I would recommend to anybody that's studying calculus or math in general is write this stuff down and, and ask yourself, what does it really mean? Okay, so conditions. Number one, F must be continuous. on a closed interval, A, B, two, F must be differentiable on, oop, not a closed, not a closed. Hang on, let me fix my eraser here. On, a cl on an open interval, A, B. Okay, we don't really care so much about the derivative at the endpoints. Right now, if you had seen my Rolle's theorem, Rolle's theorem puts a third on there that says the y values must be the same. Uh, main value theorem doesn't state that at all. What it does state, though, is that just like its name implies mean value, the average value, it says that if these things are true, then, then there exists a C in the open interval A, B, such that the derivative of the function at C is equal to the slope of the secant line. In a very real sense, this is a, this is a more general statement than Rolle's theorem. Rolle's theorem simply says that, uh, suppose a, a F of B minus, or equals F of A, in which case your slope would be zero in which case your derivative would be zero. Okay, that's just a specialized uh, uh, theorem, or a, I believe they would term that a corollary, which is kind of a specialized version of it. So the mean value theorem says that if, if, if the function's continuous and is differentiable on the open interval, then there's a C in the open interval such that the derivative of the function at that value, or at C, is equal to the slope of the secant line. So let's take a look. So we have the function f of x is equal to x squared. And now we're going to be looking at the interval negative 2, comma 1. And so we have to ask ourselves two things. Number one, is f continuous? on negative 2 comma 1. All right, well, f is a polynomial. All polynomials are continuous on, an, on um, the infinite interval, negative infinity to positive infinity. Okay, so that means that, yes, this is. Yes. 2. Is f differentiable on the open interval, negative 2, 1? And again, all polynomials are differentiable on, on the entire interval, negative infinity to positive infinity. So yes. Okay, those two things satisfied then. Then, there's some C value, which is in negative 2, 1, the open interval, such that the derivative at C, now at least one, it doesn't say that it's limited to one, but there's at least one. 
such that the derivative at C is equal to the slope of the secant line connecting uh, A and B. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and take that derivative then. So we need a derivative. F of uh, F prime of X is equal to 2X. And now we need the, the end points. So I'm going to figure those out. F of uh, negative 2 is equal to, uh, let's see, negative 2 quantity squared, which is 4. F of 1 is equal to 1 squared, which is 1. And so according to this, I need to take B as my second value. Of course, as you know, the slope doesn't matter. You put them in any order as long as you keep the order. So B is my second. So 1 minus 4 divided by uh, 1 minus a negative 2. Okay, so we have the Y values up top, 1 minus 4, divided by the X values, which is 1 and negative 2. And so we have negative 3 over positive 3, which is negative 1. And so we need to find out... That's our slope. That's that's the right side of the equation. So where is f prime of x equal to negative 1? Or when does negative 1 equal 2x? Okay, so if we do that, then we just divide by 2 and we get negative 1 half is equal to x. And so the value at which the derivative is, is negative 1 is x equals to negative one half. So in the question, the question read, find all values of c that make it true. And of course, we're dealing with c here, which means that this is really c. Okay, so c is equal to negative one half. That's it. Okay, this is this is this the steps to go through for the mean value theorem. One is it continuous? Two, is it differentiable in the open? And if those thing, two things hold true, then go through and find out the slope of the secant, take the derivative, set the two equal, solve for x. Let's take another example on the next video.